cancer what is going on welcome to the channel i am deborah this is prush intuitive and we're going to be looking at your energy for the next couple weeks so let's get into it grab a coffee grab a tea grab a beverage whatever suits your fancy kick back relax and let's read <laughs> we'll start off with an energy cleansing just to clear out any unwanted vibes energy blocks obstacles that we might be coming into right now we just had a new moon in gemini whoop whoop it helps us to really see and understand the duality that is present in our daily lives not only within ourselves but in our surrounding environment the people places and things that we interact with and that can be an experience in and of itself right we have certain ideas, thoughts, beliefs about ourselves, about other people in our life. And sometimes, <laughs> you know, that changes. They show us a different side to them, right? So this is a time to set your own intention, especially if you would like spirit to deliver specific messages or answer certain questions that you have around your current situation. Obviously, these are collective readings, so use your discernment. Take what fits, leave the rest behind. And with that cancer, we will get into it. Ooh, nope, not yet. Who <laughs> wants me to give it a second? <laughs> so we, there are a lot of feels going on. Like our emotional world is being affected right now. Even though we were at or in the phase of a new moon cycle. Here, I'll get into it. All right. I bless you with pure love and light, pure source energy, pure loving grace. I release anything that is not for our highest and best. Fear, doubt, insecurity, blocks, lack of worth, lack of value, anger, frustration. Remove it all. Help us to only receive what is for our highest and best. Help to make me a clear and open channel for the collective. Thank you, Father God, Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels, Mama Love. Ooh, amen. <laughs> All right. So as I was saying, there's a lot, especially astrologically, there's a lot being triggered in our emotional world. And Cancer, being a water sign, sometimes that can be overwhelming. You know, it's a lot to take in. And it's a lot to decipher through, deciphering through between, you know, what is actually something you need to pay attention to, what is something that might affect you, right, like in your current state, versus what are the things that are just annoyances or frustrations or uncomfortable that we kind of have to learn how to work with the energy in a more harmonious way. We are feeling a little bit of tension after this new moon, so just keep that in mind. I love this flow card for you because it really confirms that value of not getting too attached to anything. That's how I look at the flow of life, right? We experience things, we go through things, some stuff we can control, some stuff we can't. The things that we can't or the things that are not working, that's really where this flow energy needs to come into play. Otherwise, we're resisting, we're blocking, you know, it makes things 10 times more stressful and frustrating. It can be really annoying when we're trying to make something happen over and over and over again and it's just not working. Spirit wants you to release. And I'm hearing also like from a place of non-judgment, try not to judge, try not to criticize what is happening. Yes, take notes, right? You don't want to be blind <laughs> to the truth at all. But at the same time, with that water energy, we can often react in a way just because it is hurting our feelings or making us feel a certain kind of way. And I feel like this is a lot about, I keep hearing that energy of temperance, the temperance card. Yes, you might be able to sense into, feel into what's going on in a bigger picture, but at the same time, 
don't let that detour your course, right? Don't let you throw that or don't let it throw you off. <laughs> creating those barriers, creating those sacred boundaries, but also looking where those barriers are showing up in your own life. Is there something you are doing to block yourself, you know, to create that own resistance in your life? I find that when we focus on the negative, when we focus on what's not going well or right or what we how we want it to play out, we can create these own barriers for ourselves. Because we have to remember there's always creative potential. There's always endless solutions present. And we have to make decisions accordingly. We have to decide what we're going to put up with, what we're not going to. And then when we make that decision, it's talking about the need to commit to that path, the need to commit to that growth and evolution. We're not always going to like everything. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's just like the nature of the beast. Even, even in situations where we're happy and inspired with what we're doing or, you know, a certain relationship that it feels supportive and edifying, those are all great things, right? And and we experience those, but at the same time, there's always going to be that thing that's like, Meh. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know if I want to do that, or this is annoying, or like, you know, we just might be having a bad day type vibe. So the more you surrender, the more you open up to the flow, the more you're able to create better boundaries for yourself and immerse, invest in what you're building and growing, the more your requests will be granted is what I'm hearing with this request card. Yes, it takes time. And I think what I, you're in a process of allowing that evolution to unfold. And that can be annoying too, right? I think I was talking about this on one of the other Zodiac readings, like just how slow the earth plane moves. It takes time for things to evolve, especially in the day-to-day -day world. Usually when something manifests, it's because we have been putting in the work, the time, the effort in order to get to that space. Ten of Wands talks about the feeling of burden and overwhelm. You might have a lot on your plate. I'm hearing with this flow card, it's about picking and choosing your battles. That's also very important <laughs> that we are not investing time and energy into the things that are draining us. That goes back to that fixating on what is not working. So you walking in as the judgment energy is talking about how you're seeing things from a different perspective. There's a new reality coming to light and it's a little humbling. It's bittersweet is what I'm hearing. It's giving you information to rise above. It's giving you information around how to approach your own success in this dynamic. But at the same time, you just want to like bury yourself. You know, you kind of just want, I feel this like, Hermit energy, not really wanting to deal, afraid to even find out information as to why it's moving in this direction. We have the lovers coming in for you too. So you could be dealing with a love relationship. It doesn't have to be. This could be something you just are, care about very deeply. You're passionate about it. It's that partnership that we were talking about earlier. It could be super harmonious but there's parts of it that are coming out that just aren't great. Or or it's, you know, you don't like it. It's the nature of the beast. It's It shouldn't be a good, bad, right or wrong, right? Like that's kind of where that judgment component comes into play, like I was talking about. There's someone who is creating a lot of conflict in your environment with this five of wands. And I feel it's, that's part of the judgment energy for you. That's part of that wake up call. Um, <laughs> I feel like someone can flip really quickly. I feel like, um, especially in communication, especially with, with conversations you have, 
talking naturally, and then they jump all over you. That's what I'm hearing. It's like you can't win. This is, again, and it's hard for you because this is someone or something that you care about very deeply, but you're not getting the same reciprocity. You're not getting the same feedback that you once were. And that's where that resistance is coming into play, resisting how this dynamic is playing out, but also recognizing that, you know, it's important to set up boundaries. It's important to not let people infiltrate your energy, especially with their negativity, <laughs> right? The places that they can be difficult or not just being a good communicator. I know that sounds so basic, you know what I mean? But so, like, we all have to deal with people. We all get annoyed. We all get frustrated, right? Like we all have issues. So it's like, it's really hard to work with people, especially when you get shut down or they're not willing to talk about it or they jump all over you for what feels to be no reason. Obviously, it's whatever they're dealing with, whatever they're going through. Nine of Pentacles is talking about this desire to like be done. You know, they, they want their independence. They want their freedom, but they're still remaining connected waiting to see how it all plays out. And you're understanding what the dynamics of this is or becoming. Again, confirming that judgment energy, that wake up call, not something you were expecting or hoping for, for that matter. Again, that point of humility, humbling yourself when you realize how much someone or something is willing to invest into you. So you have all these pieces of the puzzle and you're still just sitting and waiting. Both of you are actually. You in this situation or person, you're just kind of waiting, waiting to see how it all plays out. And neither of you are really pushing forward towards your own victory, your own success. Yeah, it's being blocked and it's being blocked in a way that like, I don't know, you know, it, it's, I'm getting that energy of like when we stay in a situation too long, when spirits giving us confirmation left and right. Yeah, it might not be this like, you know, a hundred percent proof, but we get these hints in the way that they talk to us and the way that they approach us and how much they're willing to support or listen or validate. And Spirit's giving you those kinds of hints, which might be annoying or not, because you're supposed to pursue this healing for yourself. It's this energy of Spirit wanting you to look at how things are playing out wanting you to look at how it makes you feel, wanting you to look at if it is worth your time and energy, especially dealing with someone or something that's just doesn't really feel like you're they're on your team. It feels like they're against you or creating a lot of unnecessary conflict competition with that five of wands card. Yeah. And the devil comes out, of course, the devil in this deck is Taurus energy. So I'm getting this feeling of a lot of stubbornness, a lot of resistance that we were picking up in the very beginning. <sighs> it's someone who's not thinking things through. It's someone who, here's the thing. What I'm feeling about this is like, if nothing gets dealt with, eventually it's going to come boss. Eventually it's going to explode. And that's where I would say, you know, it's good to have boundaries. It's good to communicate your wants and needs, but also gauge the reciprocity when you do. Because technically, in a healthy relationship, we, we should have people who want to again, work with us, work together, who are interested in the way that we think and feel 
about the dynamic. And if it keeps going down this road, spirit is saying that it's just going to get worse and it's going to kind of blow up in your face. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like to deliver bad messages. It feels like this person is pretty difficult. Spirit's asking you to protect. Don't engage. Try to be as kind as you can. <laughs> you know, like two of cups energy. Four of pentacles, two of cups is talking about, you know, just put your best foot forward. Even if what you're feeling inside towards this person, towards this situation is not necessarily in alignment with how you respond, right? Like sometimes we just have to humble ourselves and be kind, be polite, have some manners, because this person or situation is going through their own stuff that I feel like you're the target. You're not necessarily a part of this. Maybe you're a small piece of whatever they're dealing with, but it's their own anger. It's their own frustration. And it really doesn't have anything to do with you. You just be become the person that they're projecting everything onto. And the way that you're going to move through this in a more graceful way is by setting boundaries, is by protecting your energy, not getting too sucked into what's not going your way or what's not working out. You need a little space to reassess and reevaluate this dynamic. And so it's better to just leave it alone until you figure out what you want moving forward Instead of trying to like fight back or defend yourself, you're not going to get very far with this person. Yeah, stinging nettle. This makes so much sense. <laughs> so stinging nettle is a really powerful herb. It's super medicinal, very healing, especially for women's health and wellness. Um, divine feminine energy, I should say. So this value of, but, you know, it can sting. It has all these uh, little things on the plant that can prick you and stuff. So it's like remembering that sometimes we kind of need that aggression. We need that things to fall apart. We need to see someone's true colors in order to find the healing, in order to find the medicine. And... Is there healing in this dynamic? Maybe for some of you, but maybe not for others. You know, this is a little bit of a wishy-washy energy. And it does take courage to actually acknowledge what's going on in your heart, how this makes you think and feel, feel about yourself, feel about the situation. There is loss here. There is sadness trying to repair something that has been broken. But in order to do that, you need to make sure that they're going to be willing to work with you. That it's not just going to be all about them or their problems, their issues, etc. Listening to your heart. And that does take courage. Yeah, it's bringing a lot of emotions to the surface cancer not the funnest energy this has kind of been the the theme with all the zodiacs this week is this weeding out right like and and i feel like these are harder dynamics it's not just joe schmo that you know from down the street or whatever this is actually someone that you've invested time and energy into it's someone that you care about very deeply and when we are in these positions, it's hard to talk about our feelings. It's hard to be vulnerable, especially when we feel someone's attacking us or not willing to listen, which in and of itself are red flags right there. We need to really take that into account. Why is this person not? Is it something I'm saying or they just like don't really care? And that's part of the information that you're like, nervous or afraid to find out totally understandable because like I said there's there's pain and there's loss and I'm hoping that this reading really helped give you some guidance and direction as to how to approach this 
Be brave, be strong, put yourself first, you know, not this dynamic. It feels like you're working really hard to, or not only to, it's, I'm hearing to understand what's going on, but then you're also working hard to keep the peace. Make sure that you're not discounting yourself, your own wants, your own needs in the process. That's very counterintuitive to what's happening because a choice needs to make, be made around whether you want to carry this with you or not. So like I said, I apologize. It's heavy. No, I'm thinking of you and sending all the love your way as you navigate. But I do hope this reading helped. I hope it resonated. I hope you found messages here for you that will help you grow and evolve and be a better version of yourself. Thank you for your time and energy always. I super appreciate you. Definitely drop comments below. Let me know how it resonates. Or if you just need a helping hand of support, I am here. Thank you for your time and energy always. Lots of love, lots of blessings your way.